Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be doing a planner review of the Pla Practical Witches 2021 Almanac, Crafting Your Magic. Um, it's by F. Gladhart. It's it's volume 24. Although I've only this is only the second one that I've ever gotten. Um, I love the velvety feel. So there was a lot of things that I liked about it last year. The main thing that I liked was the fishing days. <laughs> <laughs> which is not in this one um, but it has a lot of plus points still so definitely check it out so they've got a key to the symbols up front they've got a 2021 overview they've got a table of contents they've got how to use it you know all of that time zone conversions a little map new moons full moons January overview so every year they have a suggested study guide where they walk you through runes, tarot, uh, botanicals, crystal stones, deities, and, and exercises that you can do to try and expand your uh, magical practice throughout the year. Um, different stuff that's important information or little tidbits. They have the like traditional Bujo style like lined out days of the month. Um, I don't usually care for that. Then each week, so symbol tutorial. And then the weeks are sideways, but they're kind of small information. So what I ended up with doing with this last year was basically I a lot like the Witch's Almanac. I just read it cover to cover. Had a lot of really good articles. I do like the study guide, so I think I'm going to incorporate that more this year. Um, but otherwise, the spaces are really small. Um, too small to be practical. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it, but I'll think about it. So trivia, weekdays. Uh, ready-made tea magic, tea recipe, um, you know, different recipes, crafting cakes and ale, so a savvy cake recipe, February overview with their recommended study guide for the month, um, southern hemisphere witch, so like the opposite of this, so in bulk is going to be that first Sabbath of the calendar year, crafting an elemental spell, that's really interesting. The Witch's Cord, marking out a circle, love um, crafting your own spells, the law of similarity. This kind of content is really important because it tells you how to build a spell. I, I you know, interesting thing. I've been following um, different creators recently and I've, I've um, been following um, the Oregon Wood Witch, which is J. Allen Cross. He has a YouTube, he has an Instagram. He's a very talented creator. He has a book coming up. And I like the content a lot. Sometimes I'm a lot more soft and he's a lot more upfront with like, um, I'm not gonna say criticism, but just calling people out. <laughs> Does that sound better? About, <laughs> about like, you know, um, basically the love and light stuff, which I also, it's not my thing. I do believe in balance and, and gray is, is more more my thing. But also, he calls out things like hard work and like, you know, doing your research, doing your work. And I have been, sometimes I think like, oh, you know, we should baby the baby witches or whatever, or people, or people should be able to find their path however they want to. However, I have no, now that he has mentioned it, I have noticed a lot of people coming on to even the limited groups that I follow, because I don't do groups very much because I don't like drama. Just like, can, can anybody give me a love spell? Can anybody give me a spell for like to make my, to find love quickly or to make this thing go away? And, and then it strikes me that what he's saying is extremely valid because of like those are important things that you have to have a lot of intention for and while i do feel like yes we should help and yes we should at least point the person in the right direction i think that if you don't understand the mechanics of why what you're doing is going to work or not work or the risk you take when doing certain things um even if you don't believe in karma there's always risk in asking for things from entities that you can't necessarily please or, or return what you say you're going to do on so there is a, an inherent amount of risk and if we just say do this thing and you'll get love um that might be a disservice and, and i have been noticing that more so this kind of content is something that i want to strongly encourage everybody to look into um basically content that says like 
how do you make spells? How, like, what, how do you get to know herbs and crystals and their energies and, and how they resonate with you and if they work for you? Because um, if you don't have strong foundations, and, like, that's one of the reasons why I still love Witchy 101 books because I like to see foundational information in lots of different ways, to see different perspectives. If you don't have good foundations and understand the mechanics of why you're doing a thing, <laughs> it might not work for you. So just an interesting, an interesting thought that I've been having um, prompted by that initial uncomfortable feeling that I had but actually it was just truth and I, I'm just probably too soft on other people I mean frankly I don't care but I'm just I'm I'm too I'm an enabler that's what I'm gonna say I'm an enabler <laughs> and I just want to say it goes to show that even when somebody you don't agree with something somebody is saying I would still let that so thought sit with you for a while and see like am I not agreeing because it's an uncomfortable thought or am I not agreeing because I think that it's literally incorrect so just just my tidbit here anyway follow it's got good information I would totally follow um so march overview crafting your spells law of contagion so good information that's what I do like about this book it has a lot of really good 101 to intermediate work that you should seriously consider um so forecast ostara names of the moons april overview uh incense um ready for love spell there you go that's where your love spell is exploring the elements may beltane brood x A generational 17 year cycle of Kakatas. <laughs> wow! That sounds interesting. Horoscopes, lunar eclipse magic, super important. June overview, crafting a witch's ladder, that's a good foundational spell. Solar eclipse magic, midsummer magic, crafting a magical chiron. Just be careful not to do things in like wildlife reserves. It really does mess the fish up. Don't don't do something that you think is super cool at the expense of, <laughs> of animals and stuff that live there. You always have to be kind of cautious. And I'm not one of those people that's just like judgy about that because I feel like nature is for everybody. But at the same time, you don't want to hurt the fishies and the animals <laughs> that live there. So just be mindful of where you're doing this kind of thing. July overview. The Witch's Alphabet. Mandrake Magic. Divination. So different omancies. Uh, understanding the Zodiac, August, Lunasa or Llamas, American Harvest, um, Incense Recipes, Sigils and Bind Runes, Harvest Celebration Meal, September, Natural Lotion Recipe, um, Chains and Necklaces and Birthstones, Crafting Your Own Clothing, very cool, Mavon, October, Liquid measurements and color correspondences. Zener cards. Zener cards. Meteor showers. Samhain. November. Um, so. Sabbats and cross quarters. We've got like a little. Sabbats and exact cross quarters because the actual day is not quite what we celebrate. Futhrak runes, December, gluten-free peanut butter cookies, cool, Krampus, witchcraft traditions, Yule Sabbath, connect and sync, crossword challenge, they're really fun, I like them, and then um, there's another one, cool, and then more on the full moons, descriptions about the closes planning your year and making your own wheel of the year that's a fun activity and uh an almanac an al an, an index i mean a personal note from the um a personal note from the author it says that this year was a kickstarter which i obviously missed um
Oh, I don't know if she means that this is it, but I hope not. And uh, that's it. So that was kind of long, but I really wanted to share all the information here. It's packed full of information. Definitely check it out. I'd hate for something like this to go out of business, so I'm going to probably follow this social media so that if it is a Kickstarter again, I can support it in that way because I uh, this is actually a treasure. That's small, um, small companies really increase voices and representation and that kind of stuff and so we really have to be careful to um, protect them and I have not been super good about that in the past but I am cognizantly aware of it now and I am trying to do better so um, definitely support your small witches support your local witches support your um, your smaller publishers if you can um, anyways I love you guys like comment and subscribe um, more planners to come bye